Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Good evening and welcome to St. Catherine Lucy St. Giles Courtyard. We're very proud to be able to have the third of our four concert series here in the courtyard. You'll hear more about this evening's show in just a moment. Uh, I'm Father Carl, and I'm happy to be able to welcome all of you and tell you one very important announcement, and that is where the bathroom is. <laughs> But don't everyone rush the bathroom at once. There's one bathroom in the old church here. If you go in through the courtyard door, down the aisle to the back of the church or the front of church on the left side is the restroom. So at any time during the show, if you need to use it, please feel free to just go in through the side door to the restroom. Otherwise, enjoy your beverages and your treats and tonight's show. I'll turn it over to Debbie now to tell you about infant welfare the recipient of the donations tonight. Thank you, Father Carl. Um, good evening. My name is Debbie Blanco. I am the co-president of the Oak Park River Forest Infant Welfare Society. So welcome to all of you. We are so excited to see so many of you on the grass this evening. We are a one over 100-year-old organization. Oak Park River Forest Infant Welfare Society started by providing clean milk for babies at the turn of the century when many, many, many babies were dying from contaminated milk. All the way to today, where we now provide medical, dental, and behavioral health services for children in need. And I'm really excited to say we are now providing those services in our first, our very first own brand new building over at 28 Madison. Thank you. And we are going to continue doing all of the great work that our membership has been doing for over 100 years, not to only continue providing those services, but other services that all children can benefit from. I would like to thank the um, Lyric Opera stage artists for being here tonight for this performance. The second year, how exciting is that? I would like to thank Father Carl for having us back here at St. Giles. And once again, the lighting, the chandelier, the candles, it's beautiful. It couldn't be a better um, way to decorate for this evening. I would like to thank our auxiliary chair, Kim Fields, who oversees all of our events. And I would most certainly like to thank our committee who helped put this evening together. Mary Anderson, the chair of the event, um, Sharon Flint, and Monica Clancy. So, tonight, as you're sitting under the stars and listening to our artists, think about, hey, Infant Welfare sounds like a cool organization that I would like to be a member of or volunteer for some of those programs over in the building. There's information on various, t the two tables with the candles on the side, and there's also a QR code on the back of your program where you can learn more about membership. And then the next part, if under the stars tonight and hearing this beautiful music makes you think about giving a donation to our organization so that we can continue the programs that we have, please do so. Once again, there are some bases on the tables or the QR code on the back of the program. So sit back, enjoy, and have a wonderful evening. I'm so sorry, now Kathy. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. And we are so thrilled to be here tonight and so blessed that it is such a lovely evening and that we have the opportunity to perform this concert for the Infant Welfare League uh, here in the courtyard of St. Giles. It's just a beautiful setting and a wonderful, beautiful evening. So we're very thrilled and lucky. Um, LOSA, I'm Kathy Dunn, the president of LOSA. And LOSA is Lyric Opera Stage Artist. And we are members or former members of Lyric Opera who have performed um, on the stage. It also involves the choreographers and um, people involved in other ways as well. But, uh, but the performing arm uh, is uh, what we are tonight. We go out and perform for various organizations to help with fundraisers. We perform um, in uh, assisted living facilities and we uh, help with uh, different sorts of fundraisers like volunteer at food banks and all sorts of things like that. So we're very happy to, to be here um, performing to raise money for 
Oak Park River Forest uh, Infant Welfare Society. Mary Anderson did such a wonderful job um, wrestling the program out of me, where are you, Mary? And printing it, yes. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to announce that we are going to have to make a couple of changes tonight. Our tenor, um, Stephen Michael Patrick, uh, is ill and can't be with us this evening. And I also am not uh, feeling my absolute best. So um, some of the pieces on the program have been replaced by others. And we will just make those announcements as we go along. So the first piece on the program tonight is Sularia. And Christine Steyer will be joining me here. And as I said, I'm Kathy Dunn. I'm a 27 or 28 year member of Lyric Opera Chorus in the soprano section. And Christine, I'll let Christine introduce herself. Hi, my name is Christine Steyer, and I've sung in over 40 productions at Lyric Opera. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, I also want to say Christine is an Oak Parker, as I am, and also uh, Henry Lombardo is with us. So, yes, we're very well represented. <laughs> So in this duet, uh, the Countess is telling uh, Susanna, she's dictating a letter to Susanna, her maid, uh, to give to the Count um, and to trick him into actually meeting her. But the Count will think he's meeting Susanna. We're going to bust him. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. So we're, we're going to trick him with a little letter, see if it works. Get, get that fly with some honey and then bust him. Thank you. 